Greetings brothers, today I want to talk to you about the Hecatonk land fortress and hopefully not have you fall into the trap that I fell into. So, if you've not fought against the Votan much then you need to be aware of the Hecatonk land fortress. It's essentially like, I would say a land raider in that it's like 16 wounds, toughness 8, 2 up save and then it's got void armor. Void armor basically means less 1 AP and also you cannot reroll any wounds against it. So. Uh, it's just, it's. I would say it's more deadly in a land raider in terms of shooting as well. So these things are going to be on the battlefield and they're typically going to be uh, accompanied by a Forge Master, which is basically the League of Votan's version of a Tech Marine because that gives them the ability to give it plus one to hit. And obviously Ballistic Skill 2 on a land raider with a lot of guns is obviously going to be very good. So you can expect to see a Forge Master around in the League of Votan list. Now, if they have that League of Votan Forge Master, you need to be aware if he has the Master Armor Warlord trait, because this is the thing that's going to trip you up, right? And there's two things that the Master Armor will do. One will be when he goes to repair the fortress, rather than repair it for D3, he's going to repair it for flat 3. And if he has these ECOGs, which are basically like the unit of the Forge Master comes with like two ECOGs. They're kind of like little servitors that just run around with him. They, they're ablative wounds really. But if they're alive, and they're probably gonna be alive because you're not gonna be able to shoot the Forge Master if he's hanging out next to a Toughness 8 16 wound model because of Lookout Sir. If the ECOGs are alive, then they're gonna repair four wounds every time they do a repair. And that's big. I mean, that that's really big. It's very powerful to be able to repair four, right? Um, but the second part of this is once per battle round, if when a saving throw is failed for a league vehicle that's within six, ideally it's going to be Land Fortress probably, he can reduce the damage characteristic of that attack to zero, which basically nullifies one of your attacks. So if you're going to be throwing Thunder Hammers at the Hecaton Land Fortress, which is probably the best way to get rid of it if you're a Blood Angels player, Death Company, Thunder Hammers, then one of your Thunder Hammers is going to do zero damage rather than three. So this is where it gets interesting, and I know some people say... Don't look at the math, don't rely on the math too much, but um, I wanted to do the math after I had a, basically I had a four man, or it was a five man death company with four thunder hammers and chapter master rerolls. They bounced off the fortress, then he healed up for four, and I basically just threw 165 points in the bin in that game. Fortunately, I still haven't lost to Votan, but this was a real eye opener for me and I wanted to share my experience. So if we look at the five man death company with all thunder hammers, which not that many people run. Most people take the five man death company, but take four hammers. But in this case, let's look at how it does with five hammers. So it's going to be 25 attacks and assault doctrine. We're going to hit on fours, but we're going to give chapter master rerolls, which essentially makes you 75% chance to hit. And we've got that just in the next line down here. So the land fortress is strength eight. Or that should really say toughness 8, it's strength 8 as well. But yeah, toughness 8 and a 2 up armor save. And it's got void armor, which means minus 1 AP, no re rolling wounds. So 25 attacks into it, hitting 75% of the time is 18.75 hits. 18.75 hits, wounding on threes because of red thirst, uh, times 0 0.66 is 12.375 successful wounds. That sounds really good for a 3 damage thunder hammer. However, we're going to save on our 4 up because our AP3 essentially from Assault Doctrine gets reduced by 1, so it's back to AP2. So it's only 6.18 fails times 3, so 18.36 damage. Well, you go, yeah, we've killed it. Well, we haven't because if the Forge Master was within um, 6 inches, he can remove one of the 3 damage thunder hammers and make it 0 damage, which would mean 5 Death Company in Assault Doctrine with Chapter Master rerolls will essentially leave this on average with one wound remaining, assuming that they have that Forge Master, who is the Master, I forget the name of it, the Master Armor. So that's something to be super aware of, like, that, that yeah, like, so, so if you don't take some wounds off the Hecatonk before you charge it, chances are it's going to survive. Surviving with one wound? Well, they can operate in full profile for one wound, and on full profile, I'm pretty sure it's going to kill all your Death Company, by shooting into melee um, and then if they don't kill all of them they say they leave one or two then I would argue that the forge master will be able to charge them and they'll be able to do the last couple of damage and you'll lose your whole death company for nothing and that's what happened to me and that's why I wanted to share my experience with you and I ran four thunder hammers I think I left it on four wounds and then all of a sudden he repaired it to eight and it was literally 165 points in the bin for me um, five thunder hammers still aren't going to do it 
uh, in my battle, I actually had my chapter master hanging out next to my death company. So I could have put my chapter master, who had six thunder hammer attacks, into it as well. And his thunder hammer hits a little bit more reliably. So it, that could have possibly swung it. It probably would. Um, but yeah, you need to be aware of this. So hopefully this video helps you not make the same mistake I did. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you feel like you got any value out of today's video, do hit that like. If you want to see more Blood Angels tips and tricks every week on YouTube, please consider subscribing. I've been John the Blood Angels Commander, and I will catch you in the next video. By the blood are we made strong, brothers. Peace.